More than 450,000 hospitalizations each year are caused by atrial fibrillation or AFib. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the condition is linked to 158,000 deaths each year, and the death rate from AFib has been increasing for more than two decades. Atrial fibrillation is an irregular rhythm of the upper chambers of the heart where the electrical signals are disorganized. In AFib, the upper chambers of the heart, also called as the atria, beat very fast in a chaotic manner. Because of this, the blood doesn't flow as freely as it should. AFib may be caused by many things such as high blood pressure, advancing age, obesity, diabetes, kidney disease, heart disease, alcohol use, and smoking. Atrial fibrillation can cause a variety of symptoms. Some patients experience palpitations, often described as a racing sensation of the heart. Some patients experience increased fatigue or lack of energy. Other patients experience shortness of breath or dizziness. Sometimes uh, atrial fibrillation has, causes no symptoms and is often diagnosed during a routine visit to the doctor's office. Atrial fibrillation increases the risk of stroke by about five to seven times when compared to the general population. In AFib, the blood pools around in upper chambers of the heart and can form clots. If these blood clots break off and decide to go to the brain, that can cause stroke. These blood clots can also go to the kidneys or intestines and can cause organ damage. AFib is also known to increase risk of congestive heart failure and heart failure related hospitalizations and often increase risk of death. The good news is that AFib can be treated. Sometimes all it takes is medication to control AFib, but sometimes it takes other interventions to alter the heart's electrical system. Ablation is a commonly used procedure used to treat atrial fibrillation. In this procedure, your doctors put catheters or hollow tubes in the groin and snake them up towards the inside of the heart. Using these catheters, we make small burns using radiofrequency energy or small freezes in the upper chambers of the heart using cryoenergy. This technique breaks the faulty electrical signals and helps to restore normal rhythm. Occasionally, a hybrid technique may be required wherein the electrophysiologist and the surgeons work together to perform the ablation. Electrophysiologists will determine the best treatment approach for each individual patient, be it medications alone, medications along with ablation or ablation alone, depending upon the duration of atrial fibrillation in the patients, depending on the symptoms and also their underlying heart condition. To make an appointment with an electrophysiologist at the Louisiana Heart and Rhythm Institute, call 443-5474.